You might have seen me pacing around a little bit. I don't really do well sitting down, so I like to keep moving. What I'm gonna to talk to you a lot about today is the hardening process in life and what we go through and each of the challenges that we face and why it makes us a stronger person, not only in the workforce, but in our life in general. We're gonna talk about making sure we focus on keeping our family first in our lives, work a close second, and never forgetting to pursue the passions that we love in life. When I do these things, I don't think, I just do it. Don't think about it so much. We find in life that we think a lot. Just do it. Because it's not about the swims, it's not about facing sharks, it's not about facing jellyfish. It's about helping families, but most importantly, doing what you've been given in life and using that to the advantage to help others. And that's, that's why I'm here talking to you today. Great job, Darren. I've swum some of the most difficult bodies of water on the planet, powering through the pain of fatigue and hypothermia, as well as swimming alongside the Arctic marine life. I became the first swimmer in the world to achieve the ocean seven of all first attempts. However, these accolades do not make me any more special than anyone else. I accomplished what I did because of hard work, dedication, perseverance, to know that anything is possible when you just believe in yourself. One life lesson is doing what you need to do to get the job done. It's not always easy. It's going to be difficult. If you want to make a life change, you have to push yourself through a lot of pain. Don't let it hurt. Hurt. Go. Go for it, yeah. Go for it, mate. Each and every one of us face our own sharks. Some of them are there to be an annoyance, and some people are there to cause us real harm. Darren! It didn't matter to me that I was constantly thinking about what was in the water with me. I knew that no matter what, I had to push through, I had to persevere, and I had to complete my mission. We have to know that we can control our environment. We can control how we think about our, our current challenge that we're in. Because I know that no matter what, in my plight, I knew that I would be tossed into the ocean and the thought of having a great white shark circling me all the time could easily have snowballed me, easily could have made my focus hazy, could have made me very anxious, and probably would not have been successful. And that's just like anything in life because when we learn to avoid those sharks in our daily lives, we learn to avoid the negativity that they bring to the table, we will eventually be successful. And I challenge each and every one of us to avoid those sharks in our day. We should always have that plan A in our life, and we should never have plan B. When you have plan A, I was gonna swim the North Channel, I was gonna survive in 52 degree water, I was gonna become the first person to complete the Ocean 7, and I knew that I had to take significant risks to do that. Entrepreneurs, historical figures, and visionaries in the past have only had a plan A in their lives. We can never quit, because once you begin the habit of quitting, you realize that when you're pushed to the edge, you're pushed to the brink, you always find an easy way out. There's no easy way out in what we do, and there should not be an easy way out in anything that you do. Thank you very much.